हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मेरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस आर नेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट फ्रेमो सिस्टम इन टुडे वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट दैट हाउ द फ्रेमो सिस्टम वर्क एंड ऑन व्हिच प्रिंसिपल द फ्रेमो सिस्टम वर्क आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी वन बाय वन कंपोनेंट ऑफ फ्रेमो सिस्टम एंड इन टुडे वीडियो विल एक्सप्लेन द सेंट्रीफ्यूगल पंप पार्ट हाइड्रोलिक मोटर पार्ट एंड द पावर पैक यूनिट ऑफ अ फ्रेमो system so friend this is the first video of ramo system and in the upcoming video i will be making video regarding the speed torque controller cargo coffer dampersing and about the other thing so friends those who are new to this channel i want to tell you marine engineering have a platform which make video like this which will be beneficial for examination oral and for interview purpose so please do subscribe and please encourage us so let's start the today video of ramo system so if in the examination anybody ask you what is a framo so your answer should be a framo is a submersible type of pump now what do you mean by submersible type of pump submersible type of pump means that even if the whole body of the pump unit is submerged inside the cargo it will still continue its pumping effect and continue to do its work even it is fully submerged therefore it is called submersible pump now framo system is a such a type of system which can be used as a submersible cargo pump and also as a submersible ballast pump as well as the tank cleaning pump so the framo system is been designed in such a way that in present tanker company it hold at least 80% of a market share of a submersible pump so you can understand that how this big market of a framo system is there and therefore we require to study it very carefully now how this framo look like so this is the close view of a framo system now this part this part is a this part is a centrifugal pump part and from here to here this part basically consists of hydraulic motor now the whole framo system look like this now this is the discharge connection this is the hydraulic connection and this is the pump part and this is the hydraulic this part so this is a this part is been here reflected this part is here and this discharge portion like two coming from here to discharge and finally joining together so this is a how a framo pump look inside a cargo tank so as you can see this is how a framo pump look inside a cargo tank now on which principle the pump work so pump work on a principle of bernoulli's theorem so basically the pump which is provided in a framo system is a centrifugal pump now how the centrifugal pump work and develop pressure we will tell you in a quick synopsis basically the i is a suction side of a pump and from here the water or cargo will be sucked in after that it will gain its velocity energy or kinetic energy through the vein of the impeller through the vein of the impeller to the vein of the impeller it will gain the kinetic energy and this kinetic energy will be converted into a pressure energy by the application of bernoulli's theorem and will be discharged to a required area so the first part is the fluid entry that is from the suction side the second part is the transfer of energy by the impeller by the rotation of a prime mover and after the energy is transferred the whole thing will be converted into a pressure energy as it pass through a volute casing so it work on a principle of bernoulli's theorem now as you know a pump require a prime mover a pump require a prime mover so how this prime mover will work so this part is basically pump side now this pump side is been driven by this shaft which is been driven by 
hydraulic motor now what do you mean by hydraulic motor so hydraulic motor means that the driving force of this prime mover is a hydraulic pressurized oil so hydraulic motor basically provide the prime mover energy for driving the pump which is using a high pressurized oil energy to convert it into a rotational energy so now the question comes in our mind that as i told you right now that this is whole pump look like this is the whole pump look like which i have shown you here this internal diagram will look like this this is the whole pump look like now if i cut it in the middle half the top part is here and bottom part is here now try to concentrate on bottom part this is the pump part okay this is a suction this is the impeller and okay you will get here this is a suction this is the impeller this is the volute casing so this is from here it is getting discharged and this is the discharge side now this red is basically the pressurized oil which is providing the driving force to the hydraulic motor the yellow part is basically the oil which is consumed after the energy is been consumed by hydraulic motor the oil remaining is that yellow oil and this blue is basically the coffer dam area so as you can see here it is a consist of three thing if you see this diagram carefully a concentric type of a pipe is coming right from the top to the bottom of the directly connecting to the hydraulic motor so here you can see a concentric pipe arrangement is coming right from the top right from the top to the bottom to the hydraulic motor so how it look like it is basically basically like this okay it is basically like this this pipe this pipe is basically like this in the center there is a pressurized oil which is providing a driving force to the hydraulic motor after the hydraulic motor is been driven by this high pressurized oil the return oil is yellow in color and this whole oil part is been saved by the outside environment by help of a coffer dam arrangement this is empty which is basically used to check if there is any leak in the system or not so this is how the whole system of a framu look like so now it is clear that basically the this side is a discharge side this part is a motor part this part is a prime mover which converting the motor energy to the rotational energy and after that the use oil is going up from this and whole this arrangement is a concentric pipe type of arrangement now in examination basically if from framo they will ask you a question regarding three thing one regarding the centrifugal second regarding the hydraulic motor and third regarding the stc controller and fourth regarding the coffer dam purging so stc controller and coffer dam purging i will cover in the next upcoming video now the question should come to your mind is that i am telling that the high pressurized oil is coming here and is providing a driving force to this hydraulic motor now the question which comes to your mind that how this high pressure hydraulic oil is been developed so this high pressure oil is been developed by this power pack unit so what is a power pack unit a power pack unit is a system where we are using high pressurized high power driven electric motor high power driven electric motor is driving a high pressurized pump and basically developing a high pressurized oil this high pressurized oil is been sent to a different cargo compartment and providing energy for the driving the hydraulic motor one more time i tell you basically there is a power pack room in this power pack room a high power electric motor is driving a high pressurized pump which is developing a high pressurized 
developing high pressurized oil and that oil is been transferred to a high pressurized pipe all through the deck and from there a branch is in there from where it will go to each individual cargo tank and there it will drive the hydraulic motor it will drive this hydraulic motor after this hydraulic motor is been driven the oil will return back the oil will return back and will come to this return oil line section and will come back to this hydraulic tank forming a closed loop so basically the whole thing is like a closed loop so how it work how it look like let's see so as you can see this is a power pack this is a power pack and this power pack high electric motor is driving this high pressurized pump so this is a high electric motor driving a high pressurized pump and this high pressurized pump is driving high pressure oil after this high pressure oil is generated this is been transferred through this high pressurized pipe all over the deck and there are several cargo pump section branch line is going where it is using a driving force of this high pressure oil to drive the framo system and after that the oil is consumed coming back to this hydraulic oil tank so what does a power pack unit consist of the power pack unit consists of high power electric motor high pressure developing pump hydraulic oil tank and also the delivery line return line heat exchanger and feed pump so now you can see here the motor this big motor here it is in horizontal part and here it is vertical part this is the arrangement which are provided in a medium size tanker and this is the arrangement which is provided in a big tanker horizontal arrangement this is a feed pump which is help in developing positive pressure on the suction side of a hydraulic tank this is the filter before the oil is passing through this high pressure pump it has been passed through this filter and then it has been sent to this high pressure pump and this is the heat exchanger which as you can understand that this whole thing this whole thing is a closed loop so there will be a heat generation now when there will be heat generation it need to be cooling so for that we have heat exchanger so how this component work so basically as i have told you the electric motor drive the hydraulic pump this electric motor is driving this hydraulic pump after that it while it is driving the hydraulic pump the oil will be driven by the reservoir here you can see this is a reservoir and while it has been drawn from the reservoir it will pass through the filter and then it will go to this high pressure pump and then it will pass through this direction control valve and ultimately if required it will be cooled by the heat exchanger so friend in today video we have tried to understand that how the framo system look like so basically in a synopsis i will tell you the summary of a part basically what is happening the high pressure oil which is been generated by a power pack is coming through a individual cargo tank and from there it is driving this hydraulic motor and this hydraulic motor is acting as a prime mover for a centrifugal pump and this is driving the centrifugal pump due to which the cargo which is there in the cargo tank is been discharged through this thing so this is how the framo system work now you can see how beautiful and intelligent way they have designed the system now certain question come to our mind that uh, now i have told you that this high pressure oil is providing a driving force now the question come to our mind that suppose this is a cargo pump where i want to run the pump in low speed and here i want to run the pump at a high speed can i control the other like this the answer is yes who is responsible for that the responsible unit to control the speed of each pump is that speed torque control valve so this thing we'll talk in more detail in my, in our upcoming video so please do subscribe and please do share our video friends 
marine engineering hub make video which will be beneficial for examination and oral purpose and if you are still watching i know that you want to clear the exam very fast so i request all of you to please join our channel and enjoy the perk and get the video which are yet to be released thank you